everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Tyra, this is Sheldon, and today is day three of the 12 days of Christmas. And we are watching Rare Exports. <laughs> so we went from terrifying kids yep. to like the most badass child I've ever seen. Like, really? He's though. so cool. So before we start, this was directed by Editing Tara, please insert name here. And it stars these lovely people. <laughs> Cause I am not. No. no, no way am I trying to pronounce this. <laughs> I'm going to trust myself to stick it right here. Okay, so that's the actors and the directors. Uh, fun fact, the dad and the kid are actually uh, father, father and son, son in real life. So that's pretty cool. But the kid is the star of this movie. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Quick premise because you, you, this is kind of a movie you have to experience. Mm -hmm. um, we're in Finland. An American mining company is drilling into a mountain for this mustache twirling, like Disney villain type man at the beginning. Yes, that's what he reminds me of. It's a Disney like, villain. Crack me off. He's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so he knows what's in the mountain. But the guys working for him don't. They find it. Mm -hmm. It's Santa Claus. <laughs> Good old Santa Claus. But Santa's different in Finland. <laughs> so they find the real Santa Claus, which is like not a not a friendly dude. Uh -uh. Um, but that's that's not where the story lies. No. The story lies with his father and son, who are amazing, by the way. Mm -hmm. Like I've heard somebody say that the dad is like super abusive and unlikable not like he's a hard ass but he's so sympathetic he's his wife is gone he's trying to be tough so that his son don't see him cry well you think about it he's like, through a lot yeah well, and know. he's so sad and he's doing his best yeah uh he helps run a reindeer farm they think that this mining operation is driving the wolves out of the mountains yeah. and attacking the reindeer <laughs> all the reindeer gets slaughtered eighty-five thousand dollars what a reindeer he said so of course they go up to the mountain place discover it's not wolves it's santa claus santa claus gets stuck in the trap they have santa they're holding santa for ransom no no it's not santa claus that's an elf santa claus is this big eldritch terror that's still frozen like and that's not even spoiling anything! No, no, not at all. Like, <laughs> that's just the premise. <laughs> that's just the trailer. <laughs> but this kid is so cool. He starts out like a, a bratty little... Not bratty. He's not bratty at all. He's just kind of weenie. He's not like... He's younger than the other yeah. boys in it. Like, he's not as like tough and everything. And by the end of it, this, this is Rambo. <laughs> by the end of it. Yeah. Like, this yeah, kid nice. fully nice. intends... Nice. I'm like going head on into war against these creatures, for lack of a better word, they're creatures, and not coming back. He's ready to die. Like he's, he's he don't care. He's saving the world. He's saving the friggin' reindeer farm. He don't care. He just he just going all like. But this is like one of my favorite movies now. Me too. Like uh... <laughs> I don't know how I didn't sit down and watch Rare Sports before. It's a foreign movie, and maybe that's why I don't watch a lot of foreign movies. But this was so good. Mm -hmm. Apparently it is a prequel to a short that the same crime made. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the short was not the time of the short's about because that completely spoiled the ending of the movie and what happens after they discover giant Santa and <laughs> This goes places. This is funny too. Like when they find the elf. They, they, they think it's Santa. They think it's Santa. They think Santa Claus was not. And he's <laughs> <laughs> and it, he can smell. He likes gingerbread. They, That's the funny <laughs> part. He said his nose starts going as soon as he smells gingerbread. Or that, or the children. Yeah. Or the boy. Um, and there's just there's this one scene where they have him tied up and hung from the ceiling, and he's just there, creaking back and forth, swinging, just looking all scary. And they're just there passing a plate of gingerbread cookies around in front of him, mm -hmm. knowing how much he wants these gingerbread cookies. <laughs> and he's so angry, and they're just eating their gingerbread, watching like this, what they think is Santa Claus swinging there, trying to figure out what are we going to do now? We have... <laughs> like, if you wouldn't have told me anything about this movie, if we wouldn't have went blind, 
and we would have seen this elf. We would have thought it was. I would have thought it was Santa Claus. Yeah. Yeah. Only for the fact that I've seen a few reviews on the movie that I knew mm -hmm. that it wasn't Santa Claus coming exactly. in. It looks like skinny Santa Claus, like Santa Claus that's been buried in a mountain for the last 300 years. But yes, very good movie. I can't say enough good things about it, honestly. I like. Oh, I didn't even talk about the creepy ass doll thing, cause they're th <laughs> they're stealing kids because when Santa. <laughs> When they wake up Santa, Santa's gonna want some kids to thrash. Yeah. Cause this Santa is basically a Krampus type situation where he thrashes <laughs> the bad kids. So all this wall, and, and this mining company is stealing children, of uh, the elves technically mm. are stealing children, yeah. <laughs> and also stealing like heaters and radiators and hair dryers and stuff like that from all the houses to try and fall out Santa Claus. I forgot about that. So these elf things, they take the kid and leave this doll in its place. This like wicker looking doll, as creepy as fuck. <laughs> There's so much to this movie, and it's only an hour and a half long. Like, the movie is quick. Like, there's, it just goes. Yeah. There's no, like, it's a quick sit. And <laughs> it's not a low quality movie. It's no, very, it's not low well budget. Done. All well the, the trailers I've seen for this, mm -hmm. I guess where it's like, a 2010 movie, maybe? Maybe. Um, or maybe where it's a foreign movie, we didn't get very good trailers, but it always looked like a low-budget movie. Yeah. And I'm sure it is a low-budget movie, but this is really well made. This yeah, is amazing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, definitely check it out. I, I could go on and on, because you know what I'm like, when I like a movie, I will go drone on and on and on about how good it is. But I think you should watch it for yourself. Most people probably have seen Rare Exports at this point, but if you haven't, if you haven't please go watch, watch it. it. Go watch it, get the subtitled version, not the dubbed version, because... Actually, you want to know something? It's on Tubi. It is on Tubi. It's on Tubi, so... Well, yeah, it's on Tubi, free, right now. At least in Canada it is, and if it's in Canada, it's probably anywhere else. So yeah, it's on Tubi, go watch it, it's great. And we're going to see you tomorrow, which I do believe we already have filmed, don't we? Because day four was... Yes. The remake of Silent Night. Yes. So you're going back to the setup from the first video, because we changed a little bit here. Because I wanted my little scream dude. And there's something going something there going. within the next few days, yeah. but these are not being filmed in order right now, so this could change <laughs> a lot. <laughs> and I'll probably be back in the same outfit. I don't even remember mm -hmm. if I'm in the same outfit or not. I don't know. So I gotta. Yep. <laughs> so tomorrow is the Silent Night, Deadly Night remake, yeah. Silent Night, which is kind of more of a, a, a reboot than a remake, but. Yeah. Yeah, that one's next, and we're hoping the one after that is going to be Saint. 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, it, but it's another foreign one. This one's Danish. I'm just still trying to find it somewhere. <laughs> so if anybody has an idea where to find that on, like, streaming somewhere, like, it might be on Plex or something. I, I went through Plex today. It's not on Plex. But I'm still searching for it, so I'm hoping that one's going to be soon. Really hoping to get to watch that one, and I'm really hoping Violet Night comes out on some kind of streaming service before then, too. Um, yeah, so we will see you tomorrow with and Silent Night. What about our rating? Oh, right, we're gonna read. <laughs> this... <laughs> I'm fine. Yeah. Um, this is why I have you here. Yes. We can't really, that's one thing about this movie that I forgot to mention. We didn't really pick a favorite kill. Because there's not, there's, like... there's one yeah. on screen kill. The rest are kind of like. It's more like attacks, yes. where several people die, but like one, there's only one pickaxe to the back of the head, really. Pretty much, yeah. So, yeah, we didn't really have a favorite kill, but I gave this one an 8.5 out of 10. And I gave it a 9. And you gave it a 9, so we're 8.75 out of 10. And, and the doc says it's time to go, so yeah. we will see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Bye. <laughs>